Hello Marvel Heroes fans, my name is Wilfred Wong and welcome to my channel where you see guides and videos on this free to play game called Marvel Heroes. Now, a while ago I've done the uh, best artifact guide and in that guide I ranked 40 artifacts that, um, you know, the one that I would like to store myself and I'd like to see how they rank upon each other. Uh, with the danger room, there are seven more artifacts that you could exchange using the currency uh, as you play danger room. So um, a lot of people ask me today, uh, it, it just come out this morning in my time and uh, ask me what should we buy. Uh, then I probably ask myself the question, what shall I buy as well? So uh, so what I've done is that uh, I, I look into the seven artifacts, that um, uh, the new artifact for danger room and I run through the model, mathematic model again that I've used for the uh, you know the best artifact guide. Now I'm not going to repeat what I have done on the 40 artifact guide because uh, you know a lot I, I know a lot of you have already watched that so the methodology everything is in that video do visit that uh, to see how the rest of the 40 artifacts uh, are doing Th those are best artifacts of mine and uh, so I think in short what I've done is that uh, there's a basket of heroes uh, they are they are pretty well geared but there's still room for improvement so I run the stats, stats for all these artifacts onto this basket of heroes and to see how well each artifact uh, kind of like perform and take an average of that and uh, present it in a chart and so on. So now, um, let's look in the first one here. So the first one leading the pack is the Danger Room Training Manual. Uh, it is very much a generic hero, kind of like a generic artifacts to all heroes. Uh, I run through the score. It, the score depends on whether you are inside or outside Danger Room because if you are inside Danger Room, it's one of the most awesome uh, you know, um, artifacts we have there. The score is ninety two point two percent, which is really good because the ninety to uh, ninety three percent, hundred to ninety three percent, those are really outliners, uh, very specific artifacts. But uh, being a generic artifact is very good only if your hero really play danger room day in day out and not doing anything else. Uh, however, if you are not, uh, you know. Um, Inside the danger room, the score is about 88.96%, uh, which is very much um, media kind of like uh, average kind of uh, artifact. So only buy this if you intend for that particular hero to just sleep inside danger room. Next one is Cyclops, so I was right t-shirt. Now this is a fantastic artifact, but again, it's very specific. The score is 92.64%. Uh, which is very great if you are, um, you know, using the, uh, you know, area damage. Uh, so, how many heroes are really utilizing the area damage for the entire arsenal of your power? Uh, for me, there's only Jean uh, because my Jean is hybrid. Or for those who play energy, you know, Phoenix Jean, everything is uh, area as well. Uh, next one is Doctor Doom, but uh, you know these days a lot of people play Doctor Doom in a summoner mode. Just you know, sit back, and enjoy. So my Doom is all tries, uh, tries specialization uh, with uh, 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 sorry, no specialization uh, try build. So. Uh, for me, most likely this will be useful for only two heroes. So if not, then the, you know if, if you are not using a lot of area damage, how does it really you know equate to the whole entire spectrum of artifacts? It's uh, somewhat like um, you know white suit jacket without the health component to it. So it's it's all right. I wouldn't use this for a hero that's not really really heavy on area damage. All right, uh, sinister diamond. Um, sinister, sinister sinister diamond is very interesting because there's a lot of proc there plus one. Five Fighting, plus one energy, plus one intelligence on paper seems a lot, and uh, but the the problem is on this other side of the spectrum is only the creep damage rating and the brutal damage rating. It's not even on the creep hit or brutal strike. So, uh, so I run through and uh, you know formula again. It's uh it, it, it's all right. I mean it's close to gem of cursed, but uh, as you know with all these new artifacts with the you know the the new like. Uh, boss artifact and so on. Uh, Germ of the Curse is really somewhere in the average kind of like uh, artifact. So uh, it, it is, uh, I think for new players who do not really have a lot of options because you are playing this game new and uh, you don't really have a lot of like uh, um, artifacts in, in your stash, uh, this is could be something good for your uh, mental hero. So like Doctor Strange, like you know Psylocke if you switch to Total Mental. Uh, those, so those are pretty decent uh, for, 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 for hero, mental hero or the hybrid as well if you are doing mental energy like Jin or like Cable. So these are very specific uh, usefulness is very specific uh, because for hybrid there are actually other better artifacts for mental slash energy. Alright so um, 
How about Feast of Apocalypse? Uh, Feast of Apocalypse is mainly for the physical hero and uh, and also it, it'll be better for the melee hero because there's uh, you know attack speed boost as well. Now this score is only about ninety point one seven percent. Putting this artifact to you know in my book tier six. Uh, the closest one is ACCC, which is not really a very special artifact. Consider the fact that um, you know you need the currency to. To, to get it, I mean, consider the fact that ACCC is quite um, readily available now. But the good thing about uh, Danger Room, of course, is that you could keep rerolling at the vendor to get the max roll, and uh, you know sometimes you may not have the luxury of uh, of getting you know so many ACCC good one good rolls for all your physical heroes. So uh, I think you know for a new player it's probably good if you see a you know high rolling one may be considered. So that is probably my verdict on that. Uh, how about ten years love letter? Now this one is very interesting uh, because um, this one is uh, is it, actually pretty decent uh, for, for 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 artifact. You know provided that the target is being weakened, uh, you get another damage rating boost to a flat damage. is uh, is always good if you have a lot of crit, a lot of like brutal, a lot of crit damage, brutal damage. Then you need the normal damage to scale it up to give you the big number. So it gives you a plus two fighting as well. Now the um the only thing that I, I question mark question mark for me is uh, what if the bosses cannot be weakened? I don't know. I mean you know there is a chance there. Uh, I I think I think the only the uh, condition that doesn't apply to boss is I think it's slowed. Uh, but you know, in this game, you can't really tell because there's no debuff icon like other games. I, I keep holding the same game, but uh, for other games, you know, when you click on a target, there are some debuff icon for you to, uh, you know, aware of what what is out there. So I would say it it, it is a very nice uh, artifact, close to Hand of Doom, uh, but um, you know, a, a generic for hero or hero type. So it's a question mark for me whether it is working on bosses or not. And then after that, uh, Sentinel targeting unit. Um, it is uh, it is interesting. It gives you a crit hit as well, brutal damage rating. Um, you know, if you use signature, everything around you is in uh, is vul become vulnerable. But uh, you know, does this stack with the vulnerability debuff that uh, all of us will be using one way or the other for the hero? Because you know, imagine you're in a group, especially. I mean, all my hero, most of them use the vulnerability debuff against the bosses. And uh, if you are in a group, chances are there are some people who are doing that. So how useful is this particular stat? And only, by the way, uh, it uh, you know you gain a flat damage buff for only ten seconds. So it depends on whether you are playing. You know, some hero may have a shorter kind of like a signature, maybe like Psylocke. Some may be a a lot longer, uh, maybe like Cyclops. So you know, so that the flat damage kind of component uh, is more more of an estimation or approximation is around ninety point seven five. Uh, it is close to advanced meta sensory array. Uh, advanced meta sensory array again is very easily available. So my verdict is don't bother. Uh, the last one is the mobile um, lab kit. Uh, you know, for that there, there aren't many uh, movement like that. There, there aren't many heroes that are full movement on everything in the in the hot bar, right? Uh, in in the in the in the hot bar. Um, so you have to sort of like uh, proportionate the the the, the buff uh, accordingly. Because if say you know even if you play a a, a movement Spider Man, the main spender is not a movement. Uh, one of the uh, one of the cooldown is not a movement. So I reckon you only take half of it. So even if you get a max roll, it's about two hundred uh, damage rating. So uh, I would say no bother. So uh, I hope this video is useful. As always, uh, in the description of this video, there's a link back to my website. It has all the updated guides and videos, and um, I think I think in closing, what it really transpired to is that I think Danger Room is a good way for new players to keep playing to get the uh, the currency to get some of this uh, artifact that are pretty decent, and by and large because you can keep rerolling on the vendor to get a max roll. Uh, you, know, you could potentially get something really good. Um, you know, sometimes when you want to farm a particular artifact in this game, it's not easy. Like you know, if you're new to this game, there's no meta sensory. Or what shall you do, right? I mean, you know. So if you play Danger Room, you may get one of these items. Uh, so I hope this is a wrap here. Uh, as as always, drop in the comments below. Do feel free to check out my best artifact guide to give you a more holistic picture on on the rest of the artifacts out there. And uh, what would I, uh, as a veteran or you know, as uh, you know, players been with this game a while with all a stash full of artifacts? Uh, I do not think 
I would be buying uh, any of these artifacts from you know from the danger room uh, vendor. Um, so I probably would look into the rings next. So I may do a video on the rings, like cosmic ring versus the ICP ring versus the uh, mayhem ring versus the um, you know the uh, you know this this uh, this danger room ring. So uh, stay tuned. Let me know if that would be useful to you or not, or if it's kind of obvious which ring to use. So um, yeah, till the next time we see each other. Goodbye, and hope you enjoy uh, danger room as much as I do. Bye.